Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite esthetician again. And today, we are going to be talking about skincare trends that I'm absolutely loving. Like, they should increase the microphone. It's not loud enough. Like, I'm all for, I'm here for, I'm digging. I'm like, hey, can you say that again? So if you're interested, it's going to be a very short video. Maybe like five or six of them. Other ones are just, hey, kill me already. But yeah, let me just, for once, amplify the good trend. So if you're interested in this, please keep on watching. The first on my list, which is the bedrock of everything, honestly speaking, is knowledge. People are choosing, you know they say, I choose violence. People are choosing knowledge. They want to actually know. Before, eh? Is anything they tell them that they will take home? See, I know that in Nigeria, we are way behind. Like, we're so behind what you see in, you know, other parts of the world. By other parts of the world, let me, I would say maybe US because those are the ones that are really in our faces on YouTube everywhere. <laughs> Do you understand? We are way behind, honestly speaking. Way, way, way behind. There are a lot of things that still scale, still happen here, that it cannot even happen in these other parts of the world. It cannot even happen. Like... Right now, people are still beating their chest and saying rubbish. Like, saying things that will obviously damage your skin. And they are saying it boldly, boldly to your face. And people are still buying into those things. It means that we still have a long way to go. But compared to where we are coming from, like, four years ago, like, if someone hears cystic acid, they'll be like, what's that? If someone hears glycolic acid, what's that? Like, just two years ago, say, people that knew these things were still very limited. But more people are beginning to choose knowledge. They're asking questions. When they hear um, something does something, they're asking how. Do you get You never used to hear how before. I can't believe that we're getting to the point where people are beginning to ask the makers of all these organic creams, asking them what ingredients are in your product. Even the makers of organic cream say they are beginning to even list out some ingredients even if we know that <laughs> it's not full disclosure but at least the fact that they are even listing out one or two products means that people are asking these questions also they also know that people know these ingredients so when you list them out people understand how those ingredients will help their skin um, th their skin type even i'm always very i'm always very impressed so if you don't know if you don't know um i own a company called Tika4 and one of the things we do is that we have an e-commerce site there are different branches of the business but one very prominent part of the business is that we have an e-commerce site where we sell retail and wholesale um, skincare products so um, now on our page i am impressed as to how engaging it is like people there's a dialogue there's a conversation people you know and very respectful conversation people are giving their opinions on skincare on ingredients it is so engaging especially when i do reels teaching people um, um stuff it's so 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 engaging and it just i just smile as to how far we've come in this skincare thing it never used to be this way so honestly i'm here for it I'm, I'm so here for i'm so here for this trend now another trend is it a trend but something i'm beginning to observe is the rise of skin influencers like it's, as i said a lot of these trends are coming from knowledge people are acquiring knowledge before i don't think there were skin influencers and even the ones that were didn't even know what they're talking about <laughs> Me too. I'm not sure I knew what I was talking about before, Sha. Did you? So, as in, they're just struggling. Essentially, it was just basic things like money, routine, and stuff. But now, when you go on these influencers' pages, they are taking their time to do the reset. Ah, God, I give it to you guys. I mean, you guys are trying. You guys are trying. Like, sometimes I randomly go on their pages, I'm like, ah, preach, girl, preach. Yeah, um... They are trying their best to put in the work, giving accurate information. Obviously, it's not like I, I don't particularly agree with everything they say. The same way, like, people will not agree with everything I say. But when you see somebody that is trying to put in good information and accurate information out there, I just appreciate what the person is doing. So, fantastic trend. Keep it moving. So far as 
the skin influencers shall are doing their job to acquire accurate information. It's not like we will now be like, oh, skin is raining now. Let's all of us run and start becoming skin influencers and start talking about that. Because they're putting in the effort to actually acquire knowledge, the right and accurate knowledge I'm here for. So another trend is chemical exfoliation over physical exfoliation. Oh my God. I remember there's one time in our lives, except eh, you are generation Z. You are not, you can relate to this. Like there's one time that St. Ives was the ish, was the in thing. And not just St. Ives, Seth, the Regina scrubs. In fact, if you, it felt like scrubbing your face was the answer to everything. Like you, you legit hear people say stuff like, my skin is dull, let me go and scrub it. I have acne, let me go and scrub it. I have irritation, let me go and scrub it. Everything, everything, the beginning and the end of your issue was in scrubs. Like, do you know that I used to scrub my skin every single day at some point? Ah! God, thank you for jeans, Sha. Or maybe I haven't damaged the skin, I don't even know. It's waiting for me in front, I don't even know, but... Ah, for now, too, for now, Sha, the skin is not yet damaged. I used to scrub my skin every, every single day. But people now know better. Scrubbing your skin, a lot of times, is very... is a, is a harsh and... and uneven route to take most times the particles in scrubs are too harsh for your skin they lead to micro tears so they disrupt your skin barrier now through these micro tears things that ordinarily should be left outside your skin can enter into your skin causing all manner of things inflammation and other skin concerns that's one then two even the exfoliation using those particles are not even as opposed to when you use chemical exfoliant a lot more precise you don't want to you know, when you're exfoliating, you don't want to do too much so you don't distort your skin barrier. With scrubs, just jam and jam and, do you understand? So yeah, and also with chemical exfoliant, you can also tailor the exfoliation to suit your skin type. Like the different types of chemical exfoliant. You have glycolic, salicylic, lactic, mandelic, PHA. Just name them. You can always get something that will suit your skin. And a lot of all this chemical exfoliant, Especially the AHAs are also humectants, so you're exfoliating and hydrating at the same time. It's just a smarter, more logical, more precise way of exfoliating. Now, lastly, lastly, as I said, this video is going to be a very short one. Lastly, is people are now more concerned about having healthy skin and not necessarily. I don't see what bleached, but that's what it is. Not necessarily bleached skin. Do you get it? No, no, no. It's still in Vogue. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> don't get it twisted. But mentality is beginning to change. People now don't just attribute healthy skin to being fair. Before, that's what it was though. Like, if you're not fair, your skin is not healthy. And once you're fair, your skin is healthy. But if people are now beginning to see that they are fair. Yeah, they have black knuckles, green veins broken capillaries, different things that happen to them, their skin is thin, unhealthy. So people are beginning to, you know, tilt towards embracing their complexion and having healthier skin. I did not know that a time will come that most people that will be reaching out to us for recommendations will be saying things like, I don't want to be fair. I want to have a healthy skin. I want my complexion to remain the same. Some people categorically say, I don't want to be fair. I want to remain my, com I want to remain my complexion i just want, i just want to address my hyperpigmentation they're using the right word ah knowledge is power knowledge is power so i don't know if the reason why we get most of these sort of clients is because they understand the business already i mean we've been around for a while not so long i'm mean, just roughly three years do you get but then we've we've hammered our motto and we drilled it in so much that people understand that if we want to bleach we want to go one shade then chase lighter, don't come to us, we'll disappoint you. I don't know if that's the reason why they don't come at all, but before we get a lot of, I just, I want to be 10 times lighter, five times lighter, but now we get a lot of, I want my skin to be healthy. As I said, I don't know if it is a trend or if it's just because people understand that we don't do that sort of business, but um, I genuinely think that people are embracing their complexion. People are looking for healthy skin. Also, people are also being to understand that your skin doesn't have to be perfect to be healthy. Like there's no perfect skin. And I owe this 
to some skin influencers because you see some skin influencers that are knowledgeable about skincare and are not shy and not embarrassed to show their flaws. So people would understand that this is a constant struggle for everybody. It's just, you know, there's just a lot of hope and a lot of prospects for skincare globally and in Nigeria as well. So, I mean, um, I'm all, I'm all, all, all for it. Um, yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. If you know some skincare trends that I left out and you're currently, currently loving, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.